close your eyes. Stay with me, darling. There. Good. Good for you. <laughs> There's no way in the world for you to be sleepy. You've had yourself a long, long nap. <laughs> John. Come on, Delia. That's it. You're all right, honey. No. Mrs. Ryan, is there anything I can do for you? No, no. no. John, John, come over here, please, and talk with him. I'm afraid he's slipping under again. Uh, come on, Dee. Let me go, honey. Darling. Let me go, please. The longer that your husband stays away, the better, Mrs. Ryan. Now, you sit back. Sit back and take a deep breath. Come on, put your head back. Frank. Come in closer, John, so he can see you. Now, Frank, listen. Here. You're in the hospital. You had a bad fall, and you, and you racked your back up. And, and then you got pneumonia. So they, they had to put this tube in your throat so that you could breathe easier. And that's, that's why you can't talk right now. Do you understand me, Frank? Huh? No, no, no. Frank, no, no, you mustn't do that. You cannot go to sleep again, darling. Open your eyes. Open. There. There. There you are. Now, would you like to tell us how long you've known that we've been here? I mean, it's been so many days. Frank. Dr. Coleridge's son, call. Let me see if I can find him. Would you do that, please, nurse? John, talk with him. John. Well, here I am with this uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I... I can't get my head together to take advantage of it. <laughs> Keep talking, John. Keep talking. Uh, now, just look. I, I could stand here all day and, uh, and talk my head off about uh, city politics <laughs> and, and, and state politics and the PBA and, and, and baseball and horse racing and uh, why you should never put ice into good whiskey. And there's Frank Ryan lying there and can't even give me an argument. <laughs> You just give him a day or two, John. Oh, Frank, Frank, we're so glad to see you. We've got a lot to tell you. And I know you've got even more to, to tell us. Roger, come on over and say uh, hello to an old friend of yours. Hello, Nick. Oh, you remember Herbie? Only too well. Herbie, you haven't forgotten Dr. Coleridge, have you? I'd know him anywhere. How's the foot, Doc? Painful. Still, huh? Uh, what, broke? The bone in my big toe and another one in the instep. The uh, astragalus, maybe? That's right. Ah, you should know, Roger, that Herbie is a student of anatomy. It's almost as important in his line of work as it is in yours. I see. Actually, I hate to use the bowling ball. It's gross. Ah, but effective. Uh, didn't it inspire Dr. Coleridge to settle accounts? I'm inclined to agree with Herbie, Nick. Okay, Nick, I'll see you tomorrow. Sure. So long, Doc. Yeah, give me that report around six, will you? You know, sometimes I wonder how I'd manage without Herbie. Well, what else does Herbie do besides drop bowling balls on the toes of your clientele? 
Now, now, Dr. Coleridge, was your account delinquent or wasn't it? It was. Seriously delinquent, requiring serious measures to straighten things out. Roger, sit down. As a matter of fact, Herbie spends very little time on accounts receivable. He's an excellent assistant mortician. He has uh, a mathematical genius and a photographic memory. He's also very good with pigeons. Regular Renaissance man. Yeah. Yeah, cigar? Yeah, no, thanks. They're not allowed out here. And I hope you'll intercede for me if anyone objects. Thank you. <sighs> Has anyone told you about Frank Ryan? What about him? Well, Dad gave him a new antibiotic, and it seems to have taken hold. He's awake and his temperature's down. I'm glad. I'm especially glad for Johnny Ryan. I believe everyone is. Is Frank gonna live? I think so. Is he able to talk? He will be. That's good. If then he can tell the cops what happened to him on that staircase and that it had nothing to do with me. You know, I've been wondering about that, Nick. Oh, Roger, have you been harboring wicked thoughts about your old Uncle Nick? Shame on you. Well, I've had more reason than not to believe that you've been mixed up in it. Look, Roger, a couple of broken bones is one thing, but a contract on the son of an old friend is something else. Now, forget it. What are the odds on uh, Frank getting back on his feet? Well, I'd say, optimistically, Frank's chances of ever walking again are 10 to 1. Could he finish the campaign? Maybe. I doubt it. Mm-hmm. Now, why are you so interested? <laughs> well, I'm a good citizen. I voted for Frank in the primary. I wouldn't want to think that I wasted my vote. Furthermore, I'm a small businessman in the community, and whoever gets into public office in the community affects my business. As simple as that. I see. I'm sorry, Mr. Zerbo. Hey, Cigars what is are that? allowed only in your room. Hey, cigars are allowed only in your room. Mr. Roy, will you please take Mr. Zabo and his cigar to his room? Yes, Roy, please take Mr. Zabo back to his room. Hey, you're a big help. Keep me posted on Frank Ryan, will you? Let's go. Sure, Nick. Sure. Gonzales? Yes, Mrs. Ryan. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, and I know that everyone on the floor feels the same way. Thank you. Is there something I can help you with? I... I is it true that Frank can't talk with, with the tube in his throat? Well, that's only for the next few days or so. <laughs> You're sure he can't say anything? Do We'll, uh, we'll remove the trach as soon as possible, I promise. I didn't mean that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to find out if he could say anything, that's all. No, because the air is going into the trachea just below the larynx. I don't know anything about that. I just hate not to be here if he started talking. I understand, Dee. It's been so long. I don't think things are ever going to change. Dee, it doesn't have to be that bad. Change can be hard, but it doesn't have to be that bad. I don't like change. I like to know what to expect. Otherwise, I get very frightened. Dee, is he still awake? I think so. Well, it's OK, Mary. If he's not awake when you go in there, he, he will be. No, thank you. Oh, mother! <laughs> Let him know that you're here. Frank. Oh, Frank. Here I am. <laughs> it's Mary. Hello. Oh, dear God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.